Hey guys, and welcome back to Dinner Time at the Green Household. Um, tonight we are making a family favorite called Taco Cupcakes, and this is not dessert for dinner like it may sound, but it is just a layered taco in um, like a muffin pan. Um, this is a family favorite, like I said. When I make this one, everybody eats it, which is really great because most dinners I have at least one person who doesn't love it. So this is what I make fairly often. The kids enjoy it, we all enjoy it. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. I just make some taco meat and then I take my silicone muffin pans. I really like these because the cheese, when you bake them in here, the cheese doesn't stick like my metal pans do even when I spray them. The cheese always sticks really hard and it's tough to get off. As you can see, these pans are pretty well used. Uh, and I really like them. So I will be showing you how I make the meat and then how I layer everything in these pans. And then it's pretty simple. We just do that and then we bake them and then we have taco toppings on top and it's a pretty simple, straightforward recipe. So come along and I'll show you how we do it. All right, so first off, we're just gonna start off with two pounds of ground beef. Um, this is, like I said, a pretty straightforward, just taco meat recipe. I like to put in black beans in with my taco meat just to bulk it up a little bit. And uh, my taco meat is pretty simple. I just use this seasoned salt. I use a can of this um, tomato sauce with jalapeno. I really like that when I'm making any kind of Mexican dishes. I often will put that in there. And that seasons my meat pretty well. And um, we're just gonna cook this down. Like I said, this is a meal that everybody likes. It's fast and easy. It's pretty simple to make. It just only has a few ingredients. And tonight we are running off to watch a friend at a high school play. So we're gonna hurry and throw this meal together and then run out the door to that play. So this, this meal is perfect when you're on the go and you don't have a lot of time. Now, when I make this, I don't really follow a recipe. It's pretty straightforward, like I said. If you want a recipe for it, you can go to Pinterest and put in taco cupcakes and find a recipe. And there's a few of them out there and they're really good. But I generally speaking, uh, don't follow recipes to a T. I like to find them and then kind of put my own twist on them. So, that's what we're doing with this tonight. Okay, so our next step while we wait for the meat to brown is we have wonton wraps, and that is the tortilla, so to speak, and we just take our muffin tins or muffin molds, I don't know what you call these, and you just line each one with a wonton wrap, and I have two molds here which will make 24 taco cupcakes, which for our family will We'll go through most, if not all, of these tonight. So, uh, yep, while we wait for that meat to brown, I'm just going to line these cupcake molds. that around get it mixed in well and then I'll let this go for a couple of minutes just to heat the beans through and let everything the flavors all kind of come together but we're nearly ready to start putting together our taco cupcakes okay so we have our meat already our wonton wraps already and I'm just going to start spooning a spoonful into each of the bottom of these just so it kind of fills the bottom of those wonton wraps. I have the oven set at 350 and I'm 
not very good at timing it, but I think they usually go for probably around 12 minutes or so, just so everything gets nice and melty. Um, the wonton wrappers kind of get a little bit brown and crispy, but just so the cheese is nice and melty as well. So it doesn't take very long, and I think this meal from start to finish maybe takes 30 minutes at the most, probably not even that long. So like I said, it's just that easy, that fast, a few ingredients. Most of these things I often just keep on hand. cheese to each of those. cheese on top of that and then they will be ready to go into the oven. So you have to use two hands and you have to be kind of careful so or that everything wants to fall out so that is my one gripe about these pans and you don't put them on a cookie sheet because um i think i have put them on a cookie sheet before but it doesn't bake the bot the bottoms take longer to bake because there's two layers i think so you just have to be careful in my mind i think if they took the metal ones and covered them in silicone that would be kind of mix but anyway these like I said are ready to go for about 12 minutes give or take I wait till everything's melted and the wonton wraps are kind of brown and crispy and we'll pull them out and have some taco toppings to go on and then we'll be good to go okay so our taco cupcakes are finished in the oven and I'm gonna carefully get these out with my oven mitts I feel a little clumsy right now it's a little tricky to take these out without spilling everything, but it can be done. So as you can see, everything's melty. The edges are kind of golden brown on those wonton wraps. We're going to let them sit and cool for a few minutes, and then we'll sit down at the table with our toppings, and we'll have a quick dinner before we run off to the next thing. 
Okay, so we're ready to eat. I have this, I bought at the store the other day, jalapeno mojo dip. It's, it's sour cream with a bunch of jalapenos and other things mixed in, which I thought would be good. I also have this green salsa, which for uh, store-bought salsa, it's really good. So I'll probably put a little bit of each of that on there and we'll be good to go. Tastes good? Yeah, it's good. Okay, what does everybody think? Fantastic. It's good. <laughs> it's really good.